When Laravel 8 launched, the previous package used for scaffolding new applications, Laravel UI, was replaced with Jetstream. Jetstream comes in two flavors, Inertia.js and Livewire, both styled with Tailwind and both great solutions for building dynamic UIs. However, this change angered a good part of the community that was already happy working directly with Blade and felt that Jetstream was raising the barrier of entry for newcomers way too much. To calm things down and to improve the onboarding of new developers who are just starting to use Laravel and are not really familiar with Inertia and Livewire, Taylor and the team released Laravel Breeze, a brand new package that offers traditional-like scaffolding with just Blade and Tailwind CSS. Let's set up a new Laravel project with Breeze and see what it looks like. So I'm going to use the Laravel installer to create a new project. And since I have Laravel Valet installed, we can already see this new project in the browser. So this is how Laravel looks without Jetstream, Breeze or anything else installed. Now let's open the project and see what we got. It opens with a readme. If I go to app, HTTP controllers, we only have the base controller, so no auth controllers just yet. Resources, views, we only have the welcome blade template. And if I also check package JSON, we don't have any tailwind view or anything else. So let's install Breeze. Composer require Laravel slash Breeze. And to publish Breeze and all of his ad sets, we need to run PHP artisan Breeze install. And we get a nice feedback right here. Breeze scaffolding installed successfully. And if I go in my sidebar, we see that we now have the auth controllers. And if I go to views, we have the old blade views with some components. And a nice quick thing we also have our tests for the new functionalities, Breeze Ads. Let's configure this and see it in the browser though. So I'm going to open the environment file and check the database. We have demo and root as username and password is null. Sadly, I have no password. Let's create this new database. And open it, why not? Okay, we'll now run PHP artisan migrate to run the migrations. And if we go in the browser, we now have login and register. Let's click the register and it looks really weird. That's because I haven't run npm install and npm run dev to compile the assets. So I'm going to do just that npm install. and npm run dev to compile. Okay, we got additional dependencies must be installed. This will be done automatically, which is nice. Okay, so if we check again, yeah, this is better. Let's create a new account. And this is what we have. We have a dashboard that looks just like Jetstream but apparently we don't have a user profile like Jetstream does and also none of the goodies like two-factor authentication and stuff. But we can log out and log in. Yeah. So apparently we only have login, logout, forgot password, reset password, and all that stuff Laravel UI used to have. All in all, I think it's a good addition and it should make life easier for those who are just starting out with Laravel and web development in general. But if you are an experienced Laravel developer who's already decently skilled in Vue.js, I strongly encourage you to try Inertia. 
I've already used it in a couple of projects and apart from a few hiccups, everything went great. Also, Inertia comes with other flavors like React or Svelte, if view is not your cup of tea. That was Laravel Breeze, the new Blade scaffolding package for Laravel. Bye!